All right, Charlotte here wants to find the one that got away, but it's not for her. It's for her friend. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, okay. Is this the kind of scenario where your friend is constantly talking about this guy from her past and you're just sick of hearing about it at this point? I wouldn't go so far as to say that I'm sick of hearing about it or that it's constant, but I do want to help her because she's just so... (laughs) Like, like she's so she's such a great person and, and she deserves love. I mean, we all deserve love. And and I, you know, she feels like this is the guy that got away. So I just want to help her. OK, what's the history here? Uh, why did he get away and why are they both available now? OK, um, so I've known Charlotte for like three years now. Right. And she's. She's, you know, she's completely been alone during these three years. But then, you know, I find out that she's really been alone for the past 10 years because um, she was really good friends with this guy. And you know how it is. Like sometimes, I don't don't know, maybe he friend zoned her. I don't know. But, But she developed these really deep feelings for him. And he was always with somebody. He always had a girlfriend. So one day... She confessed to him that she, you know, that she had feelings for him, but it was too late because she did this like right before he was getting married. And, um, oh my God. So she confessed this to him right before he was getting married and they kissed and he told her that, you know, I wish you would have said something sooner and he got married anyway. Okay, and now let's fast forward. Now what's going on? So now, like, in all these years, she has, like, dated on and off, but, like, she's always comparing every guy to him. And I, you know, and I feel I feel for her because, like, nobody measures up to this guy in her eyes, you know? And that's why I need your help. Okay. Because recently, what she did was she started, like, stalking him on Facebook. Is she recently divorced or recently uh, available? No, No. she hasn't been with anybody. Okay, because sometimes I think when you get out of like a marriage or a relationship and you're looking back, you look back so fondly on the relationship that you forget all the bad stuff. But um, this sounds like she's been thinking about this guy for years and years and years. She's been pining for him. That's it. She's been pining for him. That's exactly what's going going on. She's never, she never, you know, they never had like... I guess when you're out with your friends, it feels like a date, but it's not officially a date, you know, because technically you're just friends. And and he had he always had somebody else. Okay, well, she really she really pined away for him, like you said. All right. We're going to be able to help you out this morning. Our studio director, Tommy, has actually already reached out to this dude and we have answers for you. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so you're going to have to give us a couple of minutes, and we'll tell you exactly what he told Tommy here in just a couple of minutes, okay? Okay, 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 good. Hey, The Bird Show. So Charlotte here is trying to do a really nice thing for one of her best friends, and that's try to link her best friend back up with the one that got away years and years and years ago. Hey, Charlotte. Hey. All right, so just to recap this whole thing, Years ago, they had like a, some chemistry going on there. They kiss, and then he ends up in a relationship, and it goes away. Have they had any contact with each other over like the last decade? No. None? No, no, no. None. None. So what was so special about their relationship back then that she's labeling him the one that got away? Because when you say that, it's got to be something more than just physical. Well, they were, they were friends. You know, like, I guess they, they grew up together because she said that they were really good friends and they would hang out all the time and go to the movies and do, you know, do stuff together and be together. But she never let on that, you know, that she had developed feelings for him. So why hasn't she just re- reached out herself and said, hey, hi. It's, because I know he got married. That would be un- inappropriate. But he's not married now. No, that's what she's thinking because she was stalking him on Facebook and she saw him posting pictures of the kids, but she had stopped posting pictures of the wife. 
So she's wondering, like, hmm, did something change? So over these years, this is somebody who has just been on her heart and on her mind. Like we said, she's been pining for him. So she, I'm assuming, hasn't been 10 years and all of a sudden she just checks him on Facebook. I'm sure she does this periodically. Sometimes, I would say at least once a quarter, if not more. (laughs) And so, But that's not what she's telling me, okay? Yeah. I'm I'm just going to respect what she's told me. But she sees, like, uh, the last time she went to Facebook, he's posted a lot of pictures, sans the wife. So thinking, so I'm sure she brought this back up to you. So now you're just taking it upon yourself. Hey, let's reach out to this guy and see if he is indeed single because you feel in your heart they're meant to be because she has not been able to let this go in a decade. Yeah, this is this is the one that got away from her. In knowing your friend, does do you really think that he really is the one that got away because of a connection? Or is it more so just because she's not been able to have him? Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go with the connection. Yeah, I mean, ten because years. She's not able. That to is a long time. Any other guy. I'm trying to build a case here. Like Davi and Kristen, when is the last time you posted a picture of you with your husband on social media? Um, like a week ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mine was just a couple of days ago. Also, you. It's been a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charlotte, according yeah. to you, Kristen and Bart haven't been with each other. I think it was our um, maternity photo shoot, if I remember correctly. How long ago He's getting a post this weekend because it's Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! I, I think what I was going to try to say is it just yeah. kind of goes through cycles like that, where you got yeah. a lot of pictures at one time, and then they just kind of go away, and then they're back again, but it doesn't really say anything. But I don't know. Let's find out. So um, our studio director, Tommy, will take it from here. Because- April 22nd was the last time I posted anything about this. <laughs> really? That's your anniversary, Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, yeah, it was our anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to remember, Tommy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so Tommy, our studio director, reached out to this dude yep. just to see if he was still interested, if he felt the same way. I mean, because when you're talking one that got away, that is making a deep connection. So does this dude even remember her? Tommy? Yep. So I have his email. So I reached out and I didn't want to reveal that our listener's friend has feelings for him. So I tried to set up a meeting without revealing the true motive. So I emailed him, and this is what I said. I said, hi, I'm Tommy Owen. I work for a morning show called The Bird Show. And a listener of ours reached out to us to see if we could find you. She's a friend of blank. Do you happen to know blank? And he wrote back, yes, I used to know blank. However, it's been years since we've spoken. What's all this about? I I responded, our listener is a friend of hers and wanted to surprise her with some old friends that she hasn't seen in a while, and you were one of the friends on that list. He wrote back, interesting, what is the surprise? So I said, she's setting up several dinners for Blank with a surprise guest at each dinner. She's hoping you would be one of the surprise guests. His response, oh, wow. I guess so. Is there a specific date, time, place? And then I said, now that we know you're interested in participating, I'll have her contact you and work out those details. Then he said, okay, it's just me and blank at this dinner. And I said, yes, is that okay? He said, sure. Just wasn't sure if it was a bunch of people and one of the people was a surprise or if it was a one-on-one type thing. Then came the moment of truth. I said, yes, it's one-on-one unless you have a significant other that wouldn't be comfortable with that. Look at you, Tommy. I was like, how are we going to get the goods? Sneaky. His response, nope, all good. That's the happiest form of no, too. Nope. And so I just wrapped it up with great. She will be in touch. So he is available. Dude, not <laughs> only did Tommy figure out that he's yeah. available, but he also got the date secured. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well played, dude. Tommy on fire. Oh, God, that was awesome. Well played, man. Tommy should do our texting tutors now. I feel like they'll take two seconds. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charlotte, so let's do this. let us uh, I'll put you on hold. You can talk to Tommy. We'll get them both together, and then we'll check back with you, and hopefully we've got a really, really, really great report. Yes. Yes. Oh my God! If I ever leave my husband, I'm coming. To, I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's married. <laughs> <Yeah. Turn it laughs> up. 
I'm taking happily married 25 years. 25 years for that guy. <laughs> you are a good friend, too. Yeah, yeah. very good. Mm-hmm. The Bird Show.